And that is it for season 2022. And after that first finals weekend and all this chat around how close the top eight was, the common answer to the question, who would win the comp, comes to fruition. The Penrith Panthers get the job done and they get it done over the Parramatta Eels quite comfortably. A lot of us, including me, hyped this up as one of the best grand finals in recent memory. No, it didn't deliver on the field, but off the field it was one of the great spectacles. But when Scott Sorensen crossed over to put Penrith up by three converted tries, that was when the game was come to an end. Penrith establishing themselves is probably the most dominant three-year period by a club, at least in the NRL era. Nathan Cleary... I'll say it right now. Of course, he's better than Daly Cherry Evans. Of course, he deserves to be in the World Cup side. And unfortunately, while I do love DCE, I think Cleary clears him in the all-time conversation. DCE has a bit more origin wins, but Cleary at 24 years of age, I don't think a player outside of maybe the two origin losses has dominated the NRL as much as Cleary has for the past three years. Looking back, that final try he scored in that grand final loss to Melbourne, what a, what a turning of the torch moment. He beats Cameron Smith to score that try. Now he's won back-to-back premierships. Was great again in this game. Dylan Edwards, he walks away with the Clive Churchill, and he's had a phenomenal year. Definitely deserved an award, but on the night, I thought Brian Toto, he was the best player on the field. I think he has to play on the left this year. Yes, he was still good on the right, but... The last two weeks without Taylor and May, him going back to the left has been an absolute revelation for the Panthers. For the Eels, I mean, look, Jacob Arthur was your best player, so I do want to give a quick shout-out to him. Game was over, yes, but 12-0 when he came on and he scored a try. So after all the chat, just want to say congrats to him. I don't think the Eels are going to drop out of the A, and I know a lot of people expect them to have a big fall-off, and while I don't think they're a chance of winning the comp next year, I still think they'll be there playing finals footy. It's going to be interesting to see. I think Penrith will miss Appy and Kikau a lot in saying that. What a club. It may just be the most dominant just professional sporting season from a club of all time, winning four of the five grades possible. And the Howard Mats, they only lost two games all year as well. Incredible, incredible stuff. Papali, Imani, they're moving on. Kikau, Appy, they're moving on. It may be the end of an era for Penrith, but I don't think so. They're here to stay, and it's going to be scary. This is only just the start of what is going to become a dynasty. And I know a lot of people don't like Penrith. Luai coming out, calling Parramatta, saying that you should call us daddy, but that adds to the theatre. It was awesome, and I love to see that from Luai. I know it ruffled Eels fans the wrong way, but it got them to watch the game to see Luai get his head caved in. An awesome game. Look, it wasn't close, but Penrith, they did it perfectly. Last year was a bit of a struggle. This year, they cakewalked it. And, you know, I tipped Penrith. 2020, my first year on YouTube here. I said Manly win the comp. They didn't even make the eight. Same with the Raiders last year. This year, I went Penrith, and they ended up winning the competition. So I'll give myself a point for that one. I'll react to more of my preseason NRL predictions later in the week. But for now... I just want to say thank you to everyone. Unfortunately, it wasn't the year I wanted here on YouTube, but it's also my fault. Took a big break to focus on uni this year. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to be covering the World Cup, but again, uni is going to take priority. Just want to get through this final semester if I pass all my units. But yeah, we shall see, guys. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe. You know, thank you again for an awesome year can't believe it. I mean, I remember making the video in that first trial match between Broncos and the Seagulls, and that's my most viewed video on the channel. What a crazy couple months. It go, time goes, just flies by. Like, ah, oh, just, I love the fighting. I love this game. I love it. I thought, I was definitely not as much a fan of it towards the end of the year, but when finals rolled around, that first week of finals may be the best week in a rugby league of all time. Yes, this grand final is probably the worst since 2017, but at the end of the day, you can't help but just marvel at Penrith's success. It's in the heartland of rugby league. If there was a club that I guess you'd want it to from a game's perspective, it had to be Penrith. At the heart of Western Sydney, them were the Eels, and we finally got the Battle of the West. Wasn't the game we wanted, 
But what an awesome game. Smash that like button if you enjoyed, guys. Comment your thoughts about the game down below. Who do you think should have been the Clive Churchill medalist? And as always, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.